Hello, I'm Milo for the Alice Trading Company. Today we're talking about how to take a tour of the Duarro River in Portugal. The Douro actually starts in Spain and for hundreds of years was one of the easiest ways of traversing this rugged and beautiful landscape. In the 1950s and 60s, five dams were built along the river and now boats use the locks available to pass its entire length. The cities of Porto and Villanova de Gaia are at the mouth of the river on the Atlantic and they are two of the three places you can catch a boat on the Douro. In Porto, the neighborhood of Ribeira do Porto, or Porto Riverside, is where you would go to get a boat with the docks easily accessible. Likewise, on the opposite side of the river is the town of Villanova de Gaia and its rows and rows of warehouses where port wine is famously made. The riverside here is also lined with cafes and opportunities to take a boat upriver. A third option is to head inland to Pinhao. Here you can take boats further upriver and explore more of the dramatic views the Douro has to offer. Getting to Pinhao is fairly easy by car, or you can take the train along the riverside from Porto. Check at the train station or online for more information. The tours last various times, from an hour to all day, so be clear about what you want to see or do. There are wine tasting tours, sometimes sponsored by one or two labels. But bear in mind, if you take the boat from Porto to a Quinta further inland, you will spend a lot of time on the boat, as the wine estates are deeper in the countryside. A shorter tour of Porto and Vila de Gaia will give you a special perspective on the beauty of these historic and dramatic cities, such as the interesting Dom Luis Bridge. Boat tours deeper inland will reveal the drama of the Douro region with its steep hills covered in vineyards and quaint villages and manor houses still producing wine as they have for hundreds of years. For more of our work, check out alicetc.com.